In this session, we'll draw the interior walls of the floor plan that we began in the previous session. To do this, we'll move the cursor into the standard toolbar and then right-click the mouse. We'll now left-click on the Object Snap option, which causes the toolbar to be displayed. Now we'll click on the multi-line icon in the drawing toolbar and then right-click the mouse while it's in the drawing window to display the pop-up window shown here. We'll select the justification option which allows us to change the definition point at the end of the multi-lines. Now by right-clicking again, the next pop-up window is displayed. We'll select the option bottom. We'll now pick the snap to midpoint icon on the object snap toolbar and then click on the left side of the vertical multi-line. We'll define the other end of the line by keying in at 10 feet comma zero, followed by the enter key. And now we'll key in at zero comma nine inches. Now we'll right click the mouse and select the enter option to end the multi-line command. Our next step is to define a single line that represents a door. This is done by first selecting the line icon in the drawing toolbar. And now we'll click on the snap to endpoint icon in the object snap toolbar. We'll now click at the top right corner of the multi line that we just created in order to define the start point of the line that will represent the door. Now we'll key in at 0, 2 feet 8 inches and press the enter key and then click the right mouse button and select the enter option to end the line command. Our next step is to draw another interior wall. We'll start this process by clicking on the multi-line icon and then right click the mouse and select the justification option. We need to change the justification setting to top so we'll now click right and select that option. The vertical multi-line that we are about to create should start 10 feet from the upper left corner of the floor plan, so we'll now select the Snap From icon and then click on the upper left corner of our floor plan. We'll now key in an offset value of at 10 feet, comma zero. Now we'll click on the Snap to Endpoint icon and then click on the top of the vertical line that represents the door. We'll now click the right mouse button and then select the enter option to end the multi-line command. In order to clean up the drawing where the interior and exterior walls connect, we'll make use of the modify option, multi-line. We'll select the open T edit tool option by clicking on its figure and then click on the OK button. Now we'll turn off the snap option to make it easier to select the multi-lines. The first multi-line selected will be the one that is trimmed, so we start by selecting an interior wall. And then we'll click on the intersecting exterior wall. We'll now repeat the process for the other intersection location. We'll now right click and select the enter option to end the multi-line edit process. After defining our other interior walls and editing the intersection locations, our drawing will appear as shown here.